Hello everybody. In this edition of Rudy's Kitchen Express, we're going to make mushroom and chicken risotto. So our ingredients we're going to use today, celery, about a cup, two tablespoons of butter, a cup of onion, diced, parsley. I'm using half a cup of arborio rice, two cloves of garlic, two cups of mushrooms, these are creminis. This is 12 ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast that I cubed, and about a half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. Of course, about a half a cup of uh, white wine. Ready at the stove, we have some chicken stock, about a liter of chicken stock, warm. Don't use cold stock, Use always use warm. A wide fry pan with a good sturdy base, olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's it. The first step is to put about two tablespoons of olive oil and start to sear your chicken. I've seasoned it with salt and pepper. Okay, we've browned up the chicken, set it aside. The next step in this process is to, there's enough oil in the pan, I don't need to add any more. We're going to start with our onions. We're going to start to soften it up. Getting all those bits from the chicken. Lots of flavor in that oil. Next is the garlic. Two cloves. And the finely chopped celery. take a few minutes to saute down and that's going to form our base of flavor. Okay so I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes and then we're going to start to add the, the wine and the rice. Our vegetables have sauteed down. I'm going to add the mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms. Uh, these are cremini that I've sliced up and what they'll do is they'll start to really absorb the liquid from the base of this so I've got it on about medium heat, and now we're going to add the rice. Now the rice will absorb any liquid that's in there as well. Now you can add a lot of different vegetables. There's a, a thousand ways to make risotto. Because we're doing chicken and mushrooms, I'm gonna let this saute a little bit more. Rice will begin to, not quite brown, but a little toastiness to it, as it absorbs all those flavors. Okay, it's starting to get all nice and warm and blending the flavors together. The mushrooms and the risotto have absorbed a lot of any liquid that's in there. So now I'm gonna, Get it with some wine. That's about uh, roughly half a cup. Now the wine will be absorbed as well by the mushrooms and the risotto. So this takes about 20 minutes to saute. Again, over medium heat. You can see that the rice and the mushrooms are starting to absorb that white wine. So. It's important to just ladle on the broth one ladle at a time. You see that it becomes a slow, slow simmer, and that's how it helps to be creamy at the end is when the starches in the boiled rice start to release their starch, then the, all of that creaminess starts to happen. Okay, so that the broth has been absorbed. I'm gonna keep doing this process, one ladle at a time, about 20 minutes. Okay, you can see that this is looking really good. It's been about 20 minutes. You can see that that's the consistency that we're looking for. I just tested one of the grains of rice and we're about three or four minutes out. So at this point, I'm going to add my reserved chicken. We kept it off to the side. Now that'll warm back up nicely. You want to make sure that you're using a pan that has enough sides because all of this rice, it, it expands as it cooks. If you don't have enough room, you could go right over the pan or the pot. So I'm going to let that go for about another three minutes. 
and then we're going to uh, do the final part. Okay, this is starting to look really good. Let me test it. Yeah, done perfectly. Now, but I, I noticed that it needed a little bit more salt. So I'm going to do it to whatever your taste is. You can see that I didn't use all of the broth. And if you happen to run out of broth while you're making this, you can add a little bit of water. You don't have to add wine either. You can use just broth. You can see how it, it's just the amount of liquid that we want to have in there, that it, it comes back in on it. And you can see the creaminess. Okay, so I've turned off the fire. I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of butter. There's enough heat in there that it's going to melt that. Also, it was half a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm going to add three quarters of that right now. Right there. I'm going to save that for the very end. As well as here's the parsley. Okay, all of that butter and, and cheese is going to melt and make this much, much creamier. Good. Okay, I'm going to plate this. Okay, so I've plated it up. We're going to have this for our dinner tonight, my wife and I. You can see I've sprinkled on the rest of that cheese. And if you're gonna try this recipe, good luck. I hope you like it as much as we do. And bon appetito.